supercars in seconds here. Do you know, I get asked a lot about vehicle lifter, the nose lifter on the car. If someone's calling in on perhaps a pre-owned McLaren, the first thing they ask me, does it have the nose lifter? So what I'm gonna do today is show you four different cars. I've got the eighth generation Corvette. I've got a 720S McLaren sitting here. We're gonna have a Bentley convertible and a McLaren 570S. I'll show you how the nose lifter works and how much it changes the car. We're gonna use a can of Coke as our reference. So let's start with the 720 McLaren. All right, so we'll start with the 720S. I've got the car running. And of course, the little gap there from the top of the tire, she's obviously down right now. So I got this can of Coke, this is like a food group to me, this stuff. So I'm gonna try and slide it and it'll just hit, okay? It won't go underneath. So how big is a can of Coke? Maybe four and a half inches. So let's put the nose up and see the difference. All right, so when you climb inside, you have to close the door down. Now I've got on the main display down here, I'll turn the wheel a little bit this way so you can see it. And you see a little picture of the nose. There's like a little arrow on the nose of the car. So I'm gonna push that button in. This is 20 turns, I just push it and let go. And there we go, that's just pushed there. And then up on my main display now, you'll have a little picture of the, of the, of the nose raising up. It takes about eight seconds to go up and about 13 seconds to go back down. So now the nose is up, let's take a look outside. All right, we're back in the same place. Now the nose is up. Now you see there's a much bigger gap between the, they say it raises about 50 mil, that's two inches. It seems more than that to me, but what do I know? All right, so let's take a look. Here we are. No problem at all now. <laughs> Still not a huge amount of space, but it's about the size or the height, should I say, of, of, a, of a small SUV. So it, it'll clear virtually anything. So here's the Corvette 8th generation and I've got my magic can of Coke here, to gain the reference. So let's try and slide him underneath and know it hits right about there. Just underneath it's catching on something. So let's go inside, we'll show you the nose lifting operation and see how high she goes. So now here in the 8th generation Corvette, down in the center here we have three little buttons. Traction control off, perfect. <laughs> the uh, nose lifter and the front camera. So if I push that one in, on my navigation screen here, just to the right of the driver, we have a forward facing camera. So I'm gonna nose forward. Now let me go into drive and we'll nose forwards. And you'll see me edging forwards. I'm trying not to hit the Aston Martin next to me. <laughs> and when you see the little curb stone coming up, here it comes right there. What I can do now is push the little nose lifter button and we'll see how much it raises the car from the outside as well. So let's push that. It says vehicle raising. I just hit auto lift location remembered. So when you do, when you hit the nose lifter, if you hit this little button here on your screen, it will remember the location. This frankly is my favorite thing on any sports car. I wish more cars had it, but what it will do is remember 1000 locations. Really a good example of the great technology that's in this eighth generation Corvette. So next time I get to this same location, the nose lifter will automatically raise. That's just really clever stuff, I think. Okay, you can see the great big gap now that has appeared here. And let's try our magic can of Coke and now straight underneath without touching. Again, I'm using this Coke as a reference. That's a nice size height. And this again seems very high now that it's up. Look at that. Got a very good clearance for difficult driveway speed bumps, whatever it could be. Okay, so next we're gonna try the Bentley Flying Spur. It's a beautiful car and it's glacier white. Now we see the red uh, on the wheel center there. That means it's an eight cylinder, big 21 inch wheel there, it's beautiful. Now, of course, the can of Coke here doesn't really matter because the car is much, much higher anyway, more of a conventional type sedan height. But underneath the wheel arch here, the can of Coke won't go in. So that's how tight it is to the, to the, to the height of the car. So let's adjust the height and see how high it goes. So climbing inside, you have that lovely winged bee dashboard they've always had. 
And down in the center here, I've got all these different adjustments and controls. This one here, you can see it is, has a little arrow up and down. So I'll push on that. Then up on our screen, we get the choice of normal or high height. So I'll touch high. Actually, I can feel the back moving right away. It will adjust the height of the vehicle now. So let's see how far up it goes with these big air struts. Okay, very good. It's actually gone up quite a long way. If I poke this in there now, it goes just straight in without touching. So this has gone up, my guess again, about two inches is what it's raised up. Now where you might use that is at a polo event, if you were taking the car off road, not necessarily going mudding, but <laughs> if you're going across a polo field or something, you can raise the vehicle up and not scrape the ground. Difficult driveways, things like that. One other quick thing to note, it also raises the back. On this particular car, it raises the whole vehicle. Okay, so here's a nice one, a McLaren 570S. It's a 2019 car with a McLaren orange brake, super cool. Someone added this big GT3 wing. It is carbon fiber and fully adjustable too, so kind of fun there. It's about a 5,000 mile pre-owned car that we have here. Now, again, I'll do the lifter. So here's our magic can of Coke as the reference and it won't, just won't simply go. That's pretty low. You know, to not be as high as a can of Coke, that, that's, that's very, very low. Let's lift the nose up right now. Okay, so in the McLaren 570S, you use this shorter stock, the turn signals here, the magnesium stock, then this polymer stock here, which is black. So I'm gonna lift it up like a turn signal. Let me just do that here, and it, that's perfect. Just lift it up, and it says vehicle raising. So then over here, we got the same as the 720, the image of the little green car lifting up there. So back to the front now, we got our magic can here and it goes straight underneath like it's not even there. Also same thing on top of the tire look. It really raises the vehicle quite a lot. Again, it says 50 mil in the manual. That looks a lot more than that to me. It's really very, very high now. It's uh, much more useful to have this. I, I would recommend getting your McLaren with a nose lifter. So that's just something interesting to see how much these vehicles move is amazing. They really do scrape the ground if you go across too big a speed bump or a difficult driveway. So to have this lift is amazing. I frankly think the Corvette system is incredible. Where it will remember the location, you just hit the little right hand arrow and it remembers that location. It will remember 1000 locations. And next time you get there, it automatically lifts. So imagine you've got three speed bumps on the way home. You're never gonna touch the lifter. That's very clever stuff. So thanks for subscribing to the channel if you don't mind. Let me have you be a part of this. It's really uh, a fun experience messing around with these crazy cars all day. If I can answer any questions, if you'd like to see a particular car, we have Rolls-Royce, Bentley, Aston Martin, and McLaren new. But I also have Audi, Jaguar, and Land Rover. So I'm gonna to start to mess around with those cars as well. And there's more videos to come. I'll put down here a video of the uh, C8 Corvette I did last week, putting it against a pre-owned McLaren 570S to see which one you would buy. I'll see you again. Thank you.